So, you guys head back into town, I, I imagine. Mm -hmm. I assume you're not just gonna... Actually, well, what do you want to do? I I oh, say we yeah. go into town, yeah. town and get to the bottom of this. Yep. Yeah, sure. We... This seems to have been somewhat of a slight mistake. I We haven't really introduced ourselves to each other, and well, I, I think you're all very nice people, but yeah. I'm, I'm just going to assume that, like, you know, at the start, how we introduced our characters, that we they sort of go through that again. Yeah. 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 Uh, you guys introduce yourselves, and it's like, you guys, you know, chatter. You guys chatter and get to know each other. Like, because you guys have talked to each other at length in the Discord about, like, how your characters would interact. So I assume that <laughs> sort of stuff yeah. is yeah. what is known yep. now. Definitely. My bird's yep. coming from my dice. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. No! So, you head back into Hillbury, and it's 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 a nice little farming village. Like you, you pass some pastures and wave to a farmer or two. Yeah. Uh, Sario, you get some you get some like a, a couple of a uh, a couple of like folks just sort of being very friendly towards you. <laughs> um, but all but as many people there are other people who are just sort of like not quite sure what to think of Torin. I see him as like, oh, this is driverless. <sighs> Very big tall boy. Yeah. He, he, yeah. They're, they're, actually, they're just trying to hide their gay. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you come into town, and there are just like some buildings scattered here and there. Like it's very close, very very close knit. Like it's it smells like it's spring. Essentially, oh, it's nice. it smells of flowers and it's warm and there's a little bit of dust in the air, and like the the town square is like this, it's like this this center bit of like compacted dirt from people walking all over it so much, and there's a few markets here and there, and oh, nice. you can see a small crowd of people gathering around this one aged man with tan skin hammering up. A sign, a big, big like it's sign. It's a Craigslist sign. It's a Craigslist sign. It's Craigslist. Yeah, you see up the top. <laughs> Craig. You see at the top Craigslist. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um. So this must be the social hub. <laughs> yeah, it is. Networking <laughs> time. So I mean, I'm kind of watching on, but I'm also kind of edging towards the edge of the crowd. Like I don't want to go in, mm. but I'm sort of just. Like so trying to stand on my part for Torin, so Reed can't see shit. He <laughs> sees butts and feet That's and legs. It. Would he? Would he like? Would he like a lift? Is he, Sorry. Is he just jumping up and down like constantly, just trying to see over the top of people? <laughs> like, he knows he can't see. I could, I could put. I, I, I could put. I could put him on uh, Torin's shoulders. Mm. You could, but Reed doesn't want. Like heights, remember? Are we right in assuming uh, that the like guy nailing the sign is Craig? I mean, Who's Craig. Does Craig have a picture in a book somewhere that Reed <laughs> could have no, read? No, to no there, is, there is not like a likeness of Craig known. However, okay, cool. I would recommend you, that you could use your social skills and ask. Sally goes up and says, "Hi, are you Craig?" Uh, <laughs> um, what <laughs> social skills? <laughs> Uh, Torin goes Sorry. and actually asks politely, Hello, how are you doing? We were told there was a person called Craig in town. Is that possibly so you? So first of all, okay. So, Sally. <laughs> yeah? What would, what did you do again? I, I sort of jogged up to him in my weird game jogging way and said, <laughs> Hi, are you Craig? <laughs> okay, and what was it that uh, Torin did? Uh, that, but actually social. <laughs> <laughs> Back up to Craig. You're all going up to Craig. Yeah. Yeah. So Sally just sort of like weaving your way through and Torin, people sort of part as part. you approach. He's got a re he's got a very regal step. Everyone's just like, oh my god, he's shiny. And it was like like there is a there there is a good sense of awe and respect and also a little bit of fear. Reed is like jogging up behind Torin because he's like not it's very easy to like Walk through a crowd when don't, 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 walking don't behind. Walk, don't walk directly behind him, though. No, no, like a, a bit of a distance so that he can like avoid the tail, but also be sort of not have to get caught in the crowd. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah, and so you go. 
you, this Craig looks down from hammering and he's like, Oh, adventurers. <clears throat> yes, I am the one known as Craig. Give me, I'm, I'm nearly done with this. Just give me a couple bit. And you can see he's like, he's tapping a nail into like this top, this sort of like small metal panel into the mm -hmm. top of the sign and he nails it in and then suddenly there's like a spark and then the board just sort of glows brightly and then stops. Oh. oh I and thought then... it was going to catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly people hold their, like, it, like you can see that the small crowd, had like a, a few of them have pieces of paper and they hold that in the air and they just sort of jump out of their fingers and float and stick themselves onto the board oh and meld gosh. themselves into what? it. What the fuck? Interesting. <laughs> so this is the game mechanic where we get all the quests from. Yeah. And so you see... And, and so, yeah, essentially, like, these people's requests are being stored in this board. And you can see, like... And as you look at it, like, Torin, do you, like, you go to, like, touch the board as, like, Craig gestures for you to do. And yeah. this is, like, a, a small ripple, like, made of, like, of gold... And then, like, you can see, like, like, like a piece of paper inside the board just sort of come forward. And it's a request oh. from the Temple of Light that oh. is nearby. It's the Temple Ooh, of Brunhilde. I was, I was... Ah, yay! Yeah, so the Temple of Light is, which is this nearby temple dedicated of Brunhilde. Is I mean, that's asking... why he came here in the first place. <laughs> is... I figured that's what it was. Yeah. Is asking for, is asking for a couple of small groceries to to be delivered from town, as one of their runner boys has other matters to attend to right now. God, what a boring delivery side quest. <laughs> but yeah, I imagine. Yep, and like Sally, you tap on it. Yep, and you can see it sort of does the same sort of thing, and it's uh, and it's like a sort of like magenta that as it ripples out. Okay. And upon the board um, floats up the same the same quest, actually. Ooh, like oh. the same piece of paper. Sally and, is... <laughs> and, and you look around and you can see like one of these um like an old like monk in a white in white robe investments. He goes like, That's me! I posted this! Oh, this is exciting! <laughs> Sally is very disappointed at the absolutely Hello. boring repetitive side quest that she's been handed out that repeats itself in every single game ever. Um, <laughs> just a heads Karen. up, and Reed can't reach the board. Oh, no, like, the, 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 sorry. The board, like, extends all the way down to the floor. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, it's, so it's, we can reach an, it. The, okay, this is an ex accessible world. <laughs> <laughs> it caters for everybody. Okay, cool. I mean, it has to. You have, like... Races of varying height from two feet to ten. <laughs> True. True. Alright. So you you so anyway, the, the process repeats and like you people touch the board and like more papers fly and he's like Craig just goes like, wait just a moment, wait, wait, wait. And he just sort of like sticks this uh like this purple stone into the middle of this square this metal on this purple stone in the middle of this uh metal bracket. Mm. And the board like it gets like, you know, a loading line essentially. <laughs> <laughs> the developers couldn't have code this in properly beforehand. Yep. Yep, and he's like, This is my this is my new creation, and I wanted to test it test it in a rural area, and I'm I'm glad to show you all my latest addition to the Craigslist formula. Is Craig gonna end up being an eagle later on? Did you say being an I eagle? <laughs> Did you say being an eagle? <laughs> Evil. Evil, guys. That's the question you ask. You can, I guess you can roll insight to find out whether. I mean, Reed wouldn't know. Reed thinks everybody is nice until like they do something really, really terrible to him. But that, that's that's like, oh man, oh boy, I'm reading Harry Potter. One of my friends come along. It's like, hey, oh man, it's Harry Potter. Who dies in the end? <laughs> Telling you shit. <laughs> Um, fun fact, Harry himself dies in the end. <laughs> so does Tubby do. and Hedwig. Yeah, Spoilers. Everyone dies. <laughs> everyone dies in the end. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
Yeah. So how did so it fit the sign? It finishes its process, <laughs> and then Sally, you see, you, you touch it, and it ripples again. Cool. And then this time, it it goes like another piece of paper comes up. But this time, like the location, it's not from here. Where's it from? Oh. Ooh, it's, it's Mark, from... He invented Wi-Fi. He invented the word Wi-Fi. <laughs> he invented Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh my god, he invented Wi-Fi. So, and Craig, the... Craig, you're a master of your craft. <laughs> and so the lo location is actually um, capital in New Imperium. Oh shit! And oh, it's oh, there it is. And it's um, the local like it, it is the captain of the guard from there. Oh. Asking, oh, shit. asking for recruits for um, a break and entry mission. Sally takes it. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, no! Sally, please. Yeah. So you take it, and he's like, and "How it, it do you get there?" It's it's it. Look, it's several weeks travel from. <laughs> so you, so you accept it. Is it wait? Is there a timeline like, like, first? <laughs> It's not like it's an accepted thing. You just take like a copy okay. of it, and a piece of paper appears in your hands. It's like slightly spectral. Okay. Okay. It, does it does it specify anywhere on the deadline? Yeah, like two days. Sally's disappointed. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, here's my fucking fantasy Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So Taryn, Taryn uh, takes the quest that we can actually do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you take the quest. And the monk from before goes up to you and is like, Yes, sorry about it. Um, Rutherford is just... Rutherford, our runner boy. He's an initiate at the temple. And he is going through his full acceptance into becoming one of the order today. And he is unable to complete his duties. And we do need um, our daily supplies. And unfortunately, I am not strong enough to make the trip myself. It's Would okay. you all be all right to do it? The, the monk yeah. asks you, would you, would you for be all right in accepting this? We will offer, we we can offer food for the day, for the trip, and council, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the wonderful uh, architecture of our temple. Sally, um, Sally. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought you were gonna say something. I was just, I was just gonna say, I mean, Torin will, because I mean, that's why he came here. <laughs> Sally, Sally sort of mumbles something under her breath about, and we probably should have. Buffed your strength stat more, but fine, we'll do it. Karen's got the strength <laughs> stat we all need. Hell yeah. Indeed. Um, Flex his dem muscle. Hell. <laughs> Reed looks at the other members of the group. Um, he's very, very excited because, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. He's going, his first inspiration for a song. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like a first Aww. proper inspiration for a song of like an adventure. Like. It's not like second-hand accounts of rewriting something, something he's going to experience first-hand. And he's just... Amazing. He's kind of jittery and a bit very excited, smiling. Nice. What a good, what a good and Aww. pure. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'd never turn down going to a temple. <laughs> you just want to desecrate it. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to look at the architecture. Of course. <laughs> The so, architect. So we need to take right. supplies up to it. Where, where are these supplies? Okay, do they, so... Do they give us money for the supplies? Oh, yeah. Like, the monk hands you, like, a few coins. Okay. Oh, thank you. And, like, you go shopping around, and he takes you that he needs, like, a couple of bits of incense, and... And I guess you all go on a shopping trip. Um, yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Now, I'm, I'm just going to try and speed through this bit quickly, but is there anything you wish to purchase in this village? Is there uh, anything worth purchasing? Um, yeah, is there anything purchase worth here? purchasing? <laughs> okay. So, so it's a village. They have livestock and fruit and small things. There's, like, nothing truly of note, but if there's, like, you know, like a fishing rod or more rope. No healing potions. Reed buys himself a pet chicken. Oh, my God. <laughs> is he really? All right. Sally no, immediately pipes up. <laughs> Sally immediately pipes up and says, "Don't you dare get a chicken! I've never trusted chickens. They have never been good." <laughs> but, but, cool. Don't we... Please don't buy a chicken. Do not buy a chicken. Chickens are not good. <laughs> right. Reed, duck... Reed's like looking at the chickens, and then he turns around and sees Sariel and uh, Sally glaring at him, and he's like, 
Okay. Okay. Fine. It's all right. We'll get you a chicken one. No, we won't. <laughs> I was about to say deduct two copper from your inventory. For chicken, but... <laughs> we are not getting a chicken. It's just that they will turn us into the authorities. You do not understand. We can get eggs from the chicken. It's yeah, a... we could get honey. Can get eggs. It's so not worth it. the chicken or not? It's not worth it. No, no, don't buy the chicken. Get the chicken. Get the chicken. It's not worth it. I want to name it Cockers. <laughs> But you can't name it, it's Rage Chicken! He gets to name it! Yeah, but me, I would name it. Are experience. you buying the chicken or not? <laughs> <laughs> Just make a decision, guys. Are you getting the chicken? We're not getting the chicken. <laughs> Vote in the chat if you're getting the chicken. Like yes or no. And this is the roll 20 chat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're getting a chicken. Yeah, all right. Who's buying the chicken? Not <laughs> Sally. <laughs> Reed buying the chicken. All right, Reed, deducts two copper from your inventory and you have a chicken named Cluckers. And a chicken named Cluckers. Hell You're, yeah. Okay, all of you fucking roll animal handling. <laughs> I have a cluster. Just roll it and tell me your results. Uh, I got a... I have a plus two cent. I got a... Six? <laughs> Oh boy. I got a 17. <sighs> okay, so. <laughs> so, fucking. You buy the chicken. And you, like, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you're not saying. You, you start carrying your way up. And you've got the supplies, and this chicken just starts fucking running off. <laughs> it's like, Wait, no, I got a 17. Just, just hear me out. And you guys all fucking just scramble to, like. Can Sally not even bother trying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you you scramble and you fall over and you just none of you have experience with chickens except for Reed, I imagine. And Reed is just like this is hey, just I a came wily from a one. Small, I thought I came from a, a farming. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. No, you do have experience with chickens. But anyway, Torrin's the only one with his long steps and is able to catch up to the chicken to pluck him. <laughs> And get him to behave. <laughs> and I had a negative one in animal handling. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Alright. Oh, oh, I need to reduce. I don't even know how much gold I started off with. <laughs> I have two copper. You need to sort that out before we start. I'm just gonna say 50 because that's what the site says. I got right, 50. You, you all, yeah, you, you start with 50 gold, whatever. Deduct two copper, you now have 49 gold. I have a chicken. Nine <laughs> silver and eight copper and a chicken. I mean, I, I started off with 120 gold for my, like, character. Is that too much, then? How? How did you get 120? I got Cause, 15. Because my character had, like, 4d4 times 10 gold. Oh, I didn't add that. I thought we were just doing the backstory ones, because that's how we usually play. Yeah, I was just doing the backstory one. Oh, so how much should I have, then? <laughs> Uh, what was your backstory? Uh, I had, I think I had ten. I had ten. Ten, ten, whatever. I have twenty-two. Okay, cool. Does beans. that mean fifty is too much? <laughs> right. Yeah, actually, it's a good point. You start off with twenty gold. I'm making an executive decision. Everyone starts okay, off with twenty. Thanks. Everyone starts with twenty gold. Okay, cool. Okay. okay. Which is actually quite a lot. Yeah, but like yeah, like, yeah, that is but... quite a lot because I'm about to like translate that into copper. <laughs> I mean, that's times by a hundred. Two hundred so copper. I mean, two thousand. What? Oh, yeah, 2,000. Yes, 2,000 copper. I, I, I found gold in something part of that story. But anyway, 20 yeah. gold. But, like, okay, so something important to note is that you guys, as, like, level 1 characters, are already a cut above most of the population. Right. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. like, the most of the population is level 0. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. How so... the fuck did Reed get to level 1? <laughs> It was an accident. It was an accident. He ate a rare candy. He ate a rare, he candy. Ate a rare candy, yes. No, he like he, he was practicing singing one day and one time he insulted a chicken and it died. <laughs> did did the uh, oh did the God. chickens if uh, alert him to the authorities coming in the thousands? No, because this is the fucking legend of Zelda. This Dang it! <laughs> that was the exact reason why she didn't want them to buy a chicken. <laughs> 
Yeah, but whatever. All right, so. <laughs> I want a chicken. <laughs> All right. How do you handle a chicken? Like, do you have it on a leash? <laughs> <laughs> I have trained it like can, a guard can, dog. Can we build a nest in Torrin's horns? Oh, my God. And No. I mean, <laughs> Torrin is not big enough to have like a nest for a chicken. Um, I think hey, I you think, don't know. Okay, so what happens is when they bought the chicken, obviously it came with a free leash, and he's sort of just walking it like a dog. All right, that's how it goes. Is you it, walk up. Is that an aviator? This is just the I like... miss. I misspelled. <laughs> Clock is on my character sheet. <laughs> 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 oh. I put a H after the C. Okay, let that, that is how you spell character. That's buddy. how you spell character. C H A R. No, I wrote I no C H L U C K E R S. Oh, Chuckers. Chuckers. All right, let's move on from this so we yes. can get the thing going. All right. <laughs> so even... this no, this is D and D, guys. This is pretty much what D and D is. <laughs> Dying right. chickens. All right, so you well, guys I've got off the chicken now. Yeah. So okay, so does that mean I remove remove the chicken from my inventory? Fine. Someone has the chicken in the inventory. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All and, right. And that like Reed owns it, but it currently only listens to Torin. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So you guys like you, you just guys like just travel up to the Temple of Light. You're all helping carry the stuff that they need. And you get up there, the temple of light, it's actually quite pretty. Like, at this time, it's its actually kind of sunset. Okay. Aww. And the light hits it in just the right way that, like, the shading looks cool. The temple Ooh. itself looks kind of, like, it's sort of, like, set into the hill a little bit. Okay. And there are stairs up to it and ramps. And, like, and the whole temple itself is, like, Greco, Greco-Roman pillars. And, you know, like, the, 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 the Parthenon? <laughs> Has yeah, like yeah. That, that triangle sh- roof and like the pillars at the front. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Brunhilde's like architectural style is pretty much like like neo like Renaissance neo- and okay. Greco Roman sort of style. Cool, nice. So you go, you go, you go up there and you help the old man up because it's a long walk and you know, <clears throat> old man. Mm. <clears throat> And you again, you enter through a couple of doors past the pillars, and you enter a nicely furnished marble interior. Like this place Ooh. is pretty fancy. Mm. And like, there's, there's not like gold or anything, but it's comfortable. It's warm. There's like some long tables where the residents can sit and eat. Although it's not, it, it's made for more people than currently live here. Are there okay. any pots around? Yes, there are lots. Oh of- no! <laughs> no, no, no. I'm getting to this, so you better not the room, fucking boys. take the pot. Get the room. You, you can smell some nice, like, perfumes wafting oh, from some no. pots in, in the corner, and there's a nice hearth that's got like a big fire going. Every temple yeah. of Brunhilde has um, like a big hearth in it that okay. warms the place up. Beautiful. And is there a stone within the hearth? Yes, is there, there like is a, a, a hearth stone. There's a hearth stone. <laughs> <laughs> but is there an altar or anything anywhere? <laughs> yeah, so like the hearth is the altar. Oh, okay. Well, Torin goes and, you know, does a quick little prayer at the first. Oh, hearth. and the man goes like, oh, are you of the faithful as well? <laughs> if he hasn't noticed that the fact he's wearing two holy like, symbols <laughs> on his body... <laughs> His shield is literally covered in the symbol, so yes. Oh, okay. And he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't notice them before. My eyesight is terrible. Welcome. I had, I had not realized. Come, sit, sit, sit. We must thank you for your deeds. And so, yep. Yeah, so it's a big, like, sort of, like, rectangular place. And there's, like, the hearth. On the left side is a door, and on the right side is another door. And out of the right comes, like, a bright young man and goes, Grandfather, I am now, I am now, I have passed my initiation. I am now one of the faithful. And all like all here and they're like, Yeah, yeah Tarin, Tarin's like, Yay! Yay! Tarin, Tarin, Tarin. Tarin. He's like, Reed claps as well. And he like, get, and he like, Look, look, look. And he gets out, like, pulls out from under his robes, like, 
an <laughs> amulet with that is it shines like it shines like with a golden metallic hue yeah. in the in the shape of Brunhilde's uh hang on, let me use um, objection tokens. There we is, go. Is it, is it like a flame? Yep, yeah, so I'll draw it now so I know what you got. <laughs> Are you gonna draw it on I I tried to I drew it on okay. Torin's shield. But yeah, he actually I'm glad I got that right because he has that on a necklace, so I'm glad yeah. I did it. it right. it's, that, it's, look, it's that but better. I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait, no, that's actually exactly what I drew on Torin. I'll I'll send it through to the Discord. Oh. Well you're gonna be able to see half of it because he's on his side, but yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it sort of looks like that, but even and nice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No. Anyway, um, how do I erase it? <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you delete images. images. Oh, oh, oh. What? I got it. Okay. Anyway, okay. so yeah, and this monk guy goes like, "Oh, meet these travelers. Got the supplies while you were out for the out for the week, you know." Um, yep. Yeah, so. Yeah, so uh was Rutherford, like the young man has like he show, he showed his amulet and he's like he's one of the people and you can see now that all the monks like show their so amulet's like, oh look, mine's rusted from <laughs> oh you know, one day you'll be like me. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Taran keeps his very clean, he shines it all the time. Mm. Alright, and so actually like looking at yours, yours is like just a slightly different size and shape. Like each temple has their own like slight alterations on the design, and ah. as you go like as you go like higher up in the like in the clergy ranks, like the the designs like slightly differ and grow larger, and ah, like okay. the, like the official staff of like the of the Grand Vizier, which who is like the like essentially the Pope of a Brunhilde, has like a staff with like a big like ruby crystal that looks Ooh. like a flame. Ooh. It's pretty cool. Um, but he lives in New Capital, oh, no. in in, uh, in capital, in New Imperium. So of course he does. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that is essentially the seat of the faith. Nice. Yeah, that's that's the main city. All right. Sorry, so I wants to pilgrim there one day. Nice. Mm. Anyway, and so the monks like come, travelers, sit. Oh, uh, if you have no place to stay, we'd glad we'd be glad to have you before you go off on your merry way. I liked how that rhymed. Yeah, so let's, say, let's say for food and hospitality. Well, long ago in my adventuring days, I was a particular bard of note by trade. Oh, oh, that's oh. cool. I'm a bard as well. Oh, you are. I'm glad to really? see. Here, I have my loot. No, just kidding. It broke. I'm sorry. I oh, forgot. No. About. Oh no. Oh, I would. I would be very, very sad if my loot was to come to any harm. Well, let me see it. I can still probably give you a quick service. Sally's um, suspicious. Reed hands over this drops halfling <laughs> halfling sized. <laughs> yeah. Tiny. It's, it's tiny. tiny. It, it's tiny, and like this old man, like despite him being old, is like surprisingly de dexterous, and he plays a, like a quick like couple of notes, and he. <laughs> Jukalutely. Jukalutely, <laughs> <laughs> fuck around. Um. Lutalele. Lutalele. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Reed is just like staring at this priest with big eyes, just like, oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, and, yeah, and he just like quickly gives it a quick churn, and he's like, and he goes like, Let, I, will, I will give this a quick polish over the evening as thanks, and... They're all like, you know, just happy and welcoming. And you guys, like, do you stay the night? Yes. Yeah. Well, Reed's gonna stay the night because he's polish polishing his loot, and Reed doesn't want to be too far away from his loot. He mm. does have his bagpipes and his viol in his bag, but you know, no. he likes to have all. <laughs> Sally, Sally's a bit. <laughs> he likes to have all of his instruments with him. Mm. Sally's a bit cautious, but she'll happily uh, log out for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you guys all celebrate, and a lot of cool things happen, and like <laughs> your, your your loot is like nicely polished, and it's like all serviced, and it sounds nicer. And he even restrung it, unless it has fresh strings, in which case he just gave you an extra packet of strings. And he's yeah. like, yeah, and you go, and it's like Torin, you talk about like your tales of valor and service to Brynhilda, 
and and Sally, you talk about you like you you just log off, but beforehand, like you you find some people who like talk about some of the quests that they do in the like one of the like there is like there is another like very old um woman there and she talks of how like she was once a paladin of the faith and she went on all these quests for like a for holy items and was involved in the per in was part of like uh, some of the force that was involved clearing some of the undead and the undead oh, wastes after Karin, the Karin gets very interested in this okay what do you ask Oh, he's just very interested in listening to the uh, undead person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Always encourage the undead. Yeah, so quick bit of backstory. So, like, the undead wastes are where, like, the elven, like, the de facto elven kingdom used to be. But then, like, the, a lich came along and just destroyed it all. And that was, like, an, a fettering wasteland of undeath. And, yeah. like, the remnants of that, of that civilization. Sounds Aww. cool. By the way, this is only, like, 200 years ago, so... Recent? Recent. Yeah, it, like I mean, well, recent depending on your character. Yeah. There are on lots the of there are lots of people like elves and dwarves and stuff who were alive during. Mm. And she was like, she's a human, so but she was part of that like helped expand New Imperium by clearing like reducing some of the undeath in like the uh -huh. northeast. Yeah, and so like the quests and stuff, and Sariel, you talk, and everything's like really nice and. Like these people are like really happy to have you here. Like they like they don't get travelers too often. And you share stories and yeah. And we the play night a few songs. Yeah, you you sing a few songs on your yes. lutulele. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and I play a little song on my bagpipes, which I do believe that I have um, expertise in. <laughs> oh, I mean, you have expertise. Would you, would you like me to play a song so we get the right, uh, you know, the, oh, the real God. feeling? <laughs> oh, dear. Sure, um, let's do it. Oh, oh no. God, then we'd have to get my pipes out. <laughs> no. Do you have bagpipes? Yeah. <laughs> How long will that take? It will take a while. Let's not do that then. <laughs> anyway, I will play for you on my tiny harp. Just imagine Scott and the Brave is going that real typical one that everyone knows. I Please, 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 um, obviously I investigate. You're not gonna wake us no! up? Wow. No, wow. No, you can't split up the team that's the one who the one calls the death. Alright, fine. I wake up who I feel is the most dependable ally. <laughs> Better be Sally. Torin, Torin, wake up. Wow. Uh, wow. I need someone to protect me. I have a big shield and she's got big boobs, it's important. <laughs> Reed is a light sleeper, so he wakes Torrent, up. Torrent isn't very graceful. So. Okay, yeah. 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 Like, you're, you're, like, you guys wake up, whatever. Sally, I assume, just logs on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, she's not in the game. Someone needs to send her, like, some sort of message through Discord or something to let her know to get in. <laughs> How do we do that? Chicken. And then she'll just we log kick on. Her. You just get kick her. And the universe manages to find a way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dealing with this bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so you guys hear the screams and you and you like exit the doors and you can see that on the village of Hillbury, several mm -hmm. buildings are on fire. Oh, are we oh taking yeah. the Wait, are we taking the chicken with us? Sally just knocks no, down. She doesn't care I about have, the chicken. I have left it in on my bed. Okay, cool. The chicken is safe. Cool. Just just making sure. Okay. Tony broke his arms for this. Sally's already <laughs> run ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrant Tyrant jumps after her. Right. At a normal pace. That's not a stop, start, stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sally's sprinting. She's using up her stamina here. <laughs> like, there's no stop but starting. It's just all, but, but all no, out. But eventually, she's going to run out of stamina. And she'll have to wait. So yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. So, stop, start. You're right. You're right. <laughs> this might be the first time Reed has experienced, like, a burning village. He's read about them. He's sung about them. But, uh, he's kind of petrified at the moment. Um, and don't forget, he's also very slow. Aww. Yeah. 
That's fair. Taran has <laughs> long legs. Nice. Well done. I'm, I'm sort of just like, I'm hurrying, like but I'm not too rushed. Actually, no, I'm rushing. No. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are dying. That doesn't matter. She doesn't, she doesn't, want, she doesn't want to lose track of Taran, you know? <laughs> He's no, just keeping up with his it's body. like she's trying to run, but it's kind of difficult. Her breasts are bouncing. It's very uncomfortable. Exactly. Oh, Jesus. It's it's very unfortunate. Mm. Um, so she's gotten you know negative on all athletics checks. You know, basically. <laughs> um. Oh um, yeah, because we we've gotten to. Let's just assume we get there. Yeah. yeah. Reed Reed takes like a few minutes to oh, catch, catch up. up. Um, he's panting. Oh. I fell over. <laughs> okay, so, so, so what it's happens? on fire. Alright, so you guys run down and there are a couple of villagers running around and there's like a... And, alright, so let Wait, me Wait, just... there's like a what? <laughs> I, need to, I need to prepare this, so please, please bear with me. Bearing. Okay. I've got my bear ready. Someone protect the Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Protect 